The captain of the luxury yacht that sank in a storm off the coast of Sicily is now the focus of a manslaughter investigation. No other crew has been named in the investigation, but they've been advised not to leave the country. NBC's Megan Fitzgerald reports the investigation will examine whether the yacht was secured and if the passengers were warned of their imminent danger. This morning, the search for answers. The captain of the Bayesian super yacht facing a third day of questioning by Italian authorities after the boat sank off the coast of Sicily, killing seven of the 22 people on board. The 51-year-old captain, James Cutfield of New Zealand, is under formal investigation by Italian authorities. He said of the wreck, quote, we didn't see it coming. The prosecutor in the case saying it's likely culpable shipwreck and manslaughter were committed. But now the question is, who committed the offenses? After a multi-day search recovered the body of British tech entrepreneur, his 18-year-old daughter, along with five others, Italian authorities are closely examining video showing the moments the ship sank last week after being struck by a water spout. As they look into how such an expensive super yacht succumbed to the waves in a sudden storm while other boats nearby remained floating. The CEO of the firm that owns the yacht's manufacturer defending the ship's design Design, saying it was designed to be unsinkable, claiming that it should have stayed afloat not only because of its design, but because it is a sailing yacht, which he says is safer than a motorized boat. They are built extremely strongly into the highest international uh, maritime standards. So getting to the bottom of what really went on um, is going to be critical. Maritime experts say a key focus is if all windows and doors were properly closed, making the ship watertight, and a focus on making sure the keel was properly deployed, which is a heavy weight that suspends below the vessel, another likely focus for investigators. You have to ascertain whether the captain gave any orders to have the, uh, the doorways and the hatches closed, or whether he gave any orders to have the keel deployed or, or um, fully retracted. That's where we that the investigation is going to, to look at the decision making and the communication. That was Megan Fitzgerald reporting. Now the cost to raise the yacht falls on the yacht's owner, which is a company belonging to Lynch's wife. Autopsies on all seven victims will be carried out in Palermo this week.